Hello everyone, welcome back to Hands-On Skills. My name is Alex Like, and in today's video we're going to talk about synchronized cardio version. Now this isn't a rhythm recognition video. I'll be covering the synchronized cardio version function on a manual defibrillator. Although your county or department's protocols may differ, I'll be using AHA guidelines when selecting energy. Let's go ahead and take a look. First thing I'll do is hit the sync button. I'll then select an appropriate energy setting. I'll then press charge while assuring that the sync button remains lit. Make sure everyone is clear of the patient and press and hold the shock button to deliver the energy. Forgetting to press and hold during synchronized cardioversion may result in a failure to deliver the shock. Reassess your patient's condition and obtain a new set of vital signs. In this second example, you'll see what happens when the initial shock is ineffective and a subsequent synchronized cardioversion dose is needed. The first thing I'll do is press the sync button. I'll then select an appropriate energy level. I'll press charge, making sure the sync button stays lit. Once fully charged, I'll press and hold the shock button to deliver the energy. As the initial shock was ineffective, I will prepare to administer another using a higher energy setting. At this point, it's a good idea to assess your patient's condition. Make sure all team members are clear before you deliver the shock. Reassess the patient and all vital signs. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. Until next time, stay safe, have a good rest of your night.